Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Google Cloud Next. Today, we're going to talk about how AppSheet integrates with and helps you work smarter with Google Workspace. I'm Mike Procopio, a senior staff software engineer here on the AppSheet team in Google Cloud. And let's take a look at where we're going to go in this talk here today. The concept of AppSheet and no-code app building in particular could be new for many of us as it was for me. So before we dive into the ways that AppSheet integrates with Google Workspace, we're first gonna look a little bit about no-code platforms for building apps in general. Then we'll talk about how we actually integrate with Workspace, in particular focusing on dynamic mail, which is a new feature. We'll also look at app script integration and how AppSheet works with chat and spaces to extend Google Workspace. Here's the team. I happen to be the one that gets to present on behalf of the team today, showcasing this work. But these features are brought to you by many people, both on the AppSheet team, but also on the Google Workspace integration team. And here's some of our folks. OK, so AppSheet is Google Cloud's no-code platform for citizen developers. And we are in a new era of no-code, which is basically the notion of being able to build apps without any actual traditional uh, programming and or software engineering. And so no-code platforms enable citizen developers to quickly build apps without any code. Typically, these are built on an existing data source, such as a database or Google Sheets in the cloud. And we can quickly create business value uh, by codifying existing business processes that are, are in existence today. Um, and we can deploy the apps that we make quickly and across multiple platforms. So AppSheet is Google's no-code app building platform for citizen developers. Importantly, anyone on your team can make apps and automate processes. These are able to deploy across multiple platforms like web and mobile, and they are operate in real time, and they're powerful. They have rich user experiences and robust feature sets. So let's see how this would actually work in practice. The diagram at the bottom shows the high level architecture of the concept of a no code app. In the middle, we have the actual app definition, the thing that we actually build inside AppSheet that sort of specifies how the app works. Of course, this is typically built on an actual data source, a database or spreadsheet, for example, that's what we see in, in the box on the left. And then finally, the app that you specify inside AppSheet, the no code development environment is automatically generated from that specification and data source and created into an actual live app that of course is then deployed live across multiple platforms. So let's see what that actually looks like. Here's the development environment inside actual app sheet. You will notice there is no code and that is one of the core uh, value propositions of no code app building. And on the left is the traditional navigation and where we can actually, instead of coding, we specify in broader terms, how the app works. In this case, we're in the data tab and focusing on tables where we can talk about which columns in uh, the actual table or sheet or database perform which function and they can have specific slices and security rules applied to them and so on. And on the right side, we see an actual live preview of the app in the moment across multiple platforms and screen form factors. In this case, it's an app that's built around uh, creating and monitoring tasks and we see basically a card layout that shows the status of all the tasks that are assigned to the current user. And of course, the user can create new tasks. Something like this could be generated uh, pretty quickly, like on the order of a day. So because AppSheet makes it so easy to build uh, apps and empowers business technologists and citizen developers, uh, many people are able to actually build these beyond just traditional software engineering, computer science uh, sorts of fields. In fact, 3.7 million AppSheet apps have been created to date. So the quotes below are from an actual case study that we did, and I won't read them, but one of the key takeaways from them here is that a skilled citizen developer can deliver a fairly complicated app in the order of two to four weeks, like a month, right, uh, without um, actually having to code. And these can be very powerful apps that can uh, perform very complicated automation functions and business practices. And this is in contrast to, you know, traditional software engineering where you would create an app and it might take, you know, on the order of a year uh, to build or more if you're in, in the best case scenario, right? So that's one of the key value propositions of AppSheet is not only does it empower a different class of developer to actually build an app without having to write code, 
we can build them much more quickly. Let's talk about AppSheet and Google Workspace. Google Workspace is used by millions of people and businesses. So here's an example of Google Workspace in action. And we can see that this particular animated screenshot focuses on Gmail, which brings in chat and spaces and docs and mail and content all in one central hub. Now that turns out to be really important to what Google Workspace is trying to do, as well as how AppSheet is trying to integrate with Google Workspace. Gmail in particular has become a central hub for productivity in Google Workspace. Take a look at this screenshot. So again, as we noted, we're now integrating mail, chat, spaces, and Google Meet with the actual content of whatever uh, we're looking at. Maybe it's chat or mail. And then on the right side here, we actually see a live editable document preview, right? So where we can actually edit in line. And then also notice on the right is the sidebar that allows additional access to Google Keep tasks, drive, and calendar. So we can see pretty much everything is integrated into one single view. And this is central to what we're trying to do for productivity is meet the user where they're at and keep them in context as much as possible. So the goal of the integration with Google Workspace with AppSheet is to be able to extend and customize Google Workspace. And we do this through three key ways. The first way is available now and it's called dynamic mail. And this brings the power of AppSheet apps right into Gmail, keeping the user in context. Next is integration with AppScript, which bridges the no-code and low-code uh, development environments so we can leverage uh, and access an increasing degree of functionality that AppScript provides. And then finally, we have a vision for how we'll integrate with Google Spaces, which uses the existingly, existing increasingly rich functionality available in Google Spaces uh, to integrate with automations and collect data and um, meet the user where they're at and workflow of Google scenarios. Let's take a look at Dynamic Mail in particular, bringing app sheets into app sheet apps directly into Gmail. So the screenshot on the right, animated screenshot, shows us fundamentally what this looks like. You'll recognize it looks uh, pretty similar to one of the apps that we showed earlier when we were looking at how app sheet works in that development environment. This is an app. This is a view in an app. The data is live and available right in the email message using a technology called AMP Mail. So this is available now and it allows the user to easily send app sheet forms and views uh, to users in Gmail with dynamic data that's updated uh, with the latest data in the data source when the message is rendered. So it basically brings app sheet apps to where the user is meeting them uh, directly in Gmail, which is sort of uh, one of the key ideas of the increasingly rich capabilities with built into Gmail. So data is updated live from the underlying data source and we can collect live data from the user as well. And it can be written back all within the context of that email message. And when that's done, of course, when data is submitted, it can trigger additional workflows that's specified and available inside your no code app. So now let's take a look at a demo for how this works in practice. Hello, I'm Mike Procopio, a software engineer at Google working on AppSheet. AppSheet is Google's no-code platform for citizen developers that lets you quickly build multi-platform applications on top of common data sources, all without having to write any code. Today, I'm going to show a demo of the new dynamic email feature in AppSheet that lets you bring your no-code apps right into Gmail. For this demo, I've written an example app in AppSheet for making and approving travel requests. These requests are then reviewed and approved by a manager in the organization. And with the new dynamic email feature, these approvals can now be performed right from within Gmail. First, let's talk about data. In this demo, the application data is stored in a Google Sheet, but this could be any cloud-enabled data source, such as Salesforce or a database already in use by your organization. Let's have a look at the user experience for creating and approving travel requests. In this demo, we have a user, Santosh, who has some upcoming business travel, but must first get approval. Santosh files a travel request by directly accessing the AppSheet app. He adds in travel details, cost, business purpose, and notes before saving. This sends the data to the AppSheet server, which then writes it back to the Google Sheet. And if we open up the sheet, we can see that indeed a new road has been added with the details that Santosh just entered. So far, so good. Now, here's where it gets interesting. On the AppSheet side, the app creator has set up an automation which monitors for new travel requests and then sends a dynamic email containing the approval form to the travel manager, Maria. 
This appears just like a standard email in Maria's inbox, except that because it is a dynamic email, it contains live, up-to-date information retrieved from the app's data source when the email is first opened. This uses a technology called AMP that is built into Gmail. A dynamic email can also collect live user input right inside the email, and this allows Maria to review and approve the travel request from within Gmail, allowing her to stay in context without having to navigate away. Here we see that Maria approves the request, adds in some notes, and then moves on to other tasks. And as expected, if we open up the Google Sheet, we can see that Maria's approval and notes now appear in the row that was initially created for the travel request. Now let's see how this works from the perspective of the app creator. Inside the app sheet editor, we can see the two main views used by the app. There's one view for collecting the details of a travel request and a second view for approving the request. The views are populated with data from the Google Sheet. The power of this comes from automations, which allow an app creator to specify certain actions to take when some criteria is met. So in this demo, there's one automation that monitors for when new travel requests are created. The action then taken is to send a dynamic email to the approver that contains the approval view. All of this can be quickly specified in a few minutes and without using any code. Simply reference an existing view to embed in the email and you're ready to go. Well, that concludes our demo of AppSheet Dynamic Emails. Thank you for watching and we can't wait to see what you build. Okay. So having seen how AppSheet integrates uh, with dynamic email, let's take a look at how AppSheet integrates with AppScript. So AppScript enables custom integrations with Google Workspace. And as we noted before, it's Google's low-code development environment. So this enables business solutions that integrate, automate, and extend Google Workspace properties like doc, Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Gmail, Calendar, Maps, and others. Importantly, it can also be used to call external services or perhaps internal services available within your organization. No professional development experience is required, and it's universally available to everyone with a Gmail account. So here are some example use cases. I'll pick a few to focus on. We talked about how uh, integrating with AppScript allows an AppSheet app to automate or extend or programmatically interact with Google Docs properties. So for example, Google Slides. We could uh, edit or create a Google slide every time a row uh, is edited or updated or inserted into an app sheet. We can do the same with a calendar appointment. And so in this way, you can imagine triggering uh, scheduling workflows uh, from the user's interactions with the app sheet app. The final one here at the bottom is an interesting one I'll call, call attention to. Using app script and integrating with it, we could, for example, call an external service. Again, perhaps it's internal. In this case, it could be a trained machine learning model that can make predictions on data. And this is just to show um, an example that's, uh, that extends past traditional uh, Google Workspace integration. But that could be an internal service for you, and the machine learning model can make a prediction, and the value of that could be written back uh, to your app sheet app. And that can also trigger additional workflows, for example, setting a dynamic mail. So let's see what that would look like. So the idea with a no-code app is that this should be fairly straightforward to do, and we should be able to do it in a no-code way. Here's what that actually looks like. And it's fairly, uh, it matches what you might expect. First, we have an automation inside the AppSheet app to do something. In this case, it's triggered and then it executes a task. In this case, the task, task is calling an AppScript function. So we'll choose which script and we'll choose which function to call in the script. And then this is where it gets interesting. We choose which parameters to pass to the function. Where do these parameters come from? Well, they are derived from your data, from the columns inside the, the data source that your app sheet app is built on. And it can also be functions, more complicated functions uh, and expressions of multiple pieces of data, perhaps across multiple data sources. And then finally, that function may, uh, in many cases, return a value and your integration can specify what to do with that return value. For example, writing it to the data store or perhaps using it uh, in a feed forward way to seed other um, automations that are built into the app. Okay, so that covers the integration that we envision with AppScript, which is in development. Now, here's feature vision for how AppSheet will uh, integrate with Google Spaces. So one neat thing about Google Spaces is that there's a very strong extensibility story in place now. So for example, commands and dialogues. 
So slash commands are a fairly uh, common way that you can interact with additional functionality from within the context of a, of a chat window. This applies to a spaces, to a Google space, or also an actual individual chat. So this can initiate processes. It's very easily configured. And of note, it can actually call into your app sheet app. Now, one of the more recent things that are launched and available uh, related to extensibility for Google Spaces involves rich dialogues. These are powerful because now within the context of a chat, we can pop up a modal dialogue and you can interact with the user uh, in a way that's even less than the traditional conversational way. We can collect data from the user and show dynamic data that's up to date. So this is built into Google Spaces today. And it's important for us because once this data is submitted, it could call into an app sheet API and trigger workflows, and it can trigger also additional automations. But here is one of the key points of the vision once we move past this state. So with this integration, we hope, again, to meet the user where they're at within Gmail, in this case, within the actual chat context. And this screenshot on the right shows a mock-up of an idea where we could approve a workflow from the context of Google Chat. Now, this is a workflow that's triggered from the App Sheet app, where it integrates with the actual user conversation right now, and the user can approve in line a, in this case, a travel request. This data is written back to the App Sheet app, and we could also use the dialogues that we showed earlier to create, uh, to collect additional data from the user beyond just a simple approval, where we could have, for example, approval comments or other conditions or metadata. Well, okay, everyone, that wraps up our three key integration points with AppSheet and Google Workspace. We talked about dynamic mail, integration with AppScript, and integration with chat and spaces. Let's talk about next steps with AppSheet. Here are first steps for learning more about no code in general and building apps with AppSheet. One of the amazing things about AppSheet, it has a very rich uh, developer community available at community.appsheet.com very supportive and this is a great first resource to visit when you're learning about AppSheet and NoCode in general. There's a link here to also try out Dynamic Mail, which is spoken about in the actual developer forums. You can also start your first app with one click at appsheet.com slash templates from an existing app template. And then finally, linked below is a video that is a great first step for learning about building NoCode apps with AppSheet. Okay, everyone. That wraps up our talk here today. I'm Mike Procopio on behalf of the entire AppSheet team, and it's been my great pleasure to speak with you today about how AppSheet integrates with Google Workspace. Have a great rest of your time at Google Cloud Next.